everyone, it's Eddie at Eddie Makes Art, and today I thought I would um, have a little play. Nothing too, too planned, but I wanted to use up the rest of my um, playing cards. And I thought what I'd do is kind of a take on this one that I made, this style, in a previous video. I'll link it below. Um, but instead of painting it with... Um, gesso and acrylic I am going to um, and then you know use and tissue I'm gonna um, grab a selection of different papers that I want to use I have some old book page I have uh, some flowers and butterflies we can fussy cut I have some old ledger I have music paper um, some jelly prints I've done um, if you follow me on Makers on Facebook, you've seen this guy. I revived this guy from the dead. Uh, got some more strips here. And then these are just some prints, some jelly printing um, I did on um, paper bags, actually. Yeah, these are paper bags. Um, these were on um, parchment paper. It's like oven paper type thing. Um, and you can see I did some jelly printing on those. There's some butterflies. And, you know, I thought we could um, just play around and collage some cards. I've also pulled out Mod Podge. This is the matte finish. Uh, Mod Podge to water-based glue, sealer, and finish. Um, I'm just going to pour some in this little dish so that I don't keep dipping into the bottle because I don't want to contaminate it. There we go. That should be good. Okay. Let's start. So first, what we do, I'm going to print on the back, but you can print on either side depending on your cards, what you want to show, whatevs. Yeah, we'll start with four. Okay. Um, so what do we have here to play with? Okay, the different tissues. Um, here, let's tear some of this. Sorry about the noise, but such is life, right? It's noisy. Just tearing them into little smaller bits so I can just grab them. I don't have a lot of room on the desk. Put that in two, and then we can pick out what we want. Book page. I want to fussy cut those. Okay. Do a I can take a bit. Actually, the fold's already in. So I'm gonna go with the fold. Uh, I think that's enough for now. Here, let's do some ledger paper. It's actually a copy of ledger paper. So as you can see, it's, it's white on the back, but it's, it was a re really, it's an original document, really, really fragile. Um, like there are pieces that were breaking off. So I um, scanned it and then made a copy of it on just some uh, hammer mill copy paper. Okay. Let's put a fly. Do a bunch of butterfly. This was using a stencil from PM Artists Studio. I'll link them below too. Okay. So let's just go ahead and I'm gonna paint, coat the first one with um, the Mod Podge. Like I said, I don't really have any specific plans. I just wanted to play and get these collaged and, you know, ready to go in a journal or some happy mail. Um, okay. And let's see. Let me start with this guy here. Take a little bit of this. Now, some of it's going to hang over. I'm going to let it hang over and I'll just trim it off at the end. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Come on, here we go. And maybe 
um, book page. This is from a German book many, many years ago. As you can see, this is also kind of fragile. So I'm going to carefully tear a bit off. And then I'm going to add it to that. Get a little glue under here. I hope you're all doing well. Things are well, things are going good here. There's, um, it's nice weather actually, if my window's open. Yep, February in Boston, and it's gonna be 60 degrees today and even warmer tomorrow. How fun is that? Okay. Let's see what else, maybe a little red. Oh, you know what, let's do a little teal. applying you know if you need it if it, it starts to dry out on you it's kind of dry here so that's gonna happen and I was kind of trying to figure out what I want to do for my next video and I just wasn't sure and I said you know what I should just use up those playing cards and because I need some more ephemera for my journals and this is a good good way to get it done and use some cards. I don't mind that you see the writing behind from the card. I, that's not a big deal to me. Let's use some of this. This is that. This was a stencil, a gel print of, of uh, with using a stencil, and I I think I used the wrong paint because the paper got completely stuck to the stencil, um, and I had to go figure out what I was going to do because I wanted to save it but it was so stuck so I ran it under some water in my sink and this actually came off pretty whole and as you can see it's still you know it's intact little tears but um what I did was I took it off out of the sink and I laid it on some wax paper and let it dry overnight and it, it seems to have strengthen the paper a little bit more because it's got you know with the acrylic and then the type of paper it's now a little stronger and I said well you know what that's going in my collage scrap pile All right. what do we have for the bottom there we can do, here. We'll do a little number or Cut that. I'm gonna set this one to dry a little bit more, to dry. And then we can always add more stuff. All right. I like this. This is another um, stencil from Paint Artists. This is uh, gel printed on um, an old workbook I had from culinary school. And um, I didn't need it anymore, so I printed on it instead of throwing it away. And, okay. Now, I'm not worried about this board. This is like a, it's a um, cutting board for your kitchen. And um, I had an extra one. I said, you know what? I could use that. And it wipes off, it cleans off well, so. Oops. See, we're just playing today, making a mess. Not get one of these. International community. There we go. You're going right there. I keep moving it because I don't want it to just get stuck in this in one spot and then 
have to tear it off. I do have a baby wipe over here. I should wipe this down a little bit now. Get the air bubble out of there. Okay. What's next? What's next? Some of this would be nice. A pattern to the, the bottom half here. And this is, it's gonna wrinkle the tissue, but it gives it a nice texture. And sometimes it smooths out, but usually it doesn't. I don't worry about that. under here. This is a little heavier piece, but that's okay. Just make sure we get the glue underneath as well, or the Mod Podge. Uh, this one is going to be tough. You can see it pulling out. I think we're going to let this guy dry, and then we'll come back to it. Please drop the uh, your ideas and your tips in the comments. I like I like learning new things and checking new things out. Oh, yeah, what do I want to use? This is a cluster I made over Christmas, but it's not like super Christmassy. It's got plaid paper, but it's not super Christmassy, and it does have music on it. Oh, okay, maybe this one. I Put the glue right on it. Oh. And then stick it down on the car and just go over it because, like I said, this is a little thicker. So I don't want it to, um, to come off. Right in the middle. Just do it this way with the two facing the right way. And then we'll just go over it. While we have this card wet, maybe what we'll do is add some other things here. This has some pink on it. hope this is in shot. <laughs> I have really haven't checked. Okay. Let me see. Yes, we're good. We're good. Okay. What else do we have here? Now, these are going to be really funky, but I, um, that's the kind of style I work in. You know, just throw it all down. Let's put a ticket in there. You don't have to use like your whole little piece. Definitely, you know, tear things up. It's okay. It's just paper. Compelling. 
There we go. Let's use abstraction. Tear it rather. We'll tear it. You know, I'm going to put it this way. Something for that little corner. I've got this here. Hmm. 2000 or something. Is that there? Yeah, that's good. Okay. And then a little red. I got a little white on the edges showing, but that's what this other stuff that I pulled out is for. We can decorate that and cover it right up. I never even read this. This is a uh, Canadian whiskey brand, Lord Calvert. I'm not a big drinker, so I don't really know much about like whiskeys and stuff like that. Ooh, there we go. I'm gonna put this whole thing right here. You know why? Because I want to. And then I just put some other stuff on it. Good. I think this one we can tear off. This is a little too much excess. Okay. okay, what else we want to put on here? Let's put a little word here. Vacation. But I'm going to cut the white off. I don't like the white. On here, Let's turn that off. Little glue. Put it right in the middle. Let's put it right in the middle. Bam. Okay, let's keep going. Ooh, I see this one, see? Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Let's just put a little bit more Mod Podge under there. Put it down. Okay. Hopefully, that'll stay in place. These are drying nicely. That's cool. You see how they're curving? No big deal. What you do is um, when you're done, you put them, um, I usually put mine like inside a book or um, I'll put like a wax paper on them so they don't stick to the book or, you know, and then um, I lay a heavy book or a couple of books on top and then by the next day they're nice and flat again. Okay. We'll continue with this guy. I feel a little teal. About get a little strip. Yeah. Okay. So a little more down here. Make sure you get in the edges too, because sometimes 
the Mod Podge underneath might dry out a little quicker. And you need to uh, make sure you get in those edges. Oh, see, look at this guy. He's pulling it too, but we can fix that. Now, I thought it'd be fun to play with the Distress Ink, too, because the Distress Ink works well on something that's been sealed, like Mod Podged, I think. And um, I thought we could play with that. Grunge him up a little more. Uh, you can come off. And you can come off. And then... Another tip is if you're using um, scissors, you know, cutting stuff that has glue on it, which, you know, you can wait, but I'm impatient. Um, just take a little acetone on a cotton ball or something and you wipe down your blades um, and it cleans them up really nicely. You don't need a lot. Hmm. Well, that is good. That just came out of nowhere, didn't it? No, I don't want to cover up the vacation. So we're going to go right there. Cool. I'm going to let this one dry a little bit. So we've got our four cards here. And if this one's the first one. This one's the driest. Okay. Now before I trim it, I'm going to go ahead and put some other stuff on it and just keep going with the collage. Um, oh, I didn't show you these. I've got some circles I punched out a while ago. Just I had some scraps and I didn't want to throw it away because there were some good, you know, colors and prints and stuff. Um, so I just punched a bunch of holes and I use them, all sorts of things. I make belly bands for my journals with the... Bigger, bigger circles, I just lay them one on top of the other and stagger them down to glue. And they work. If if I have a thinner paper like this, I'll put a little strip behind it, maybe a little cardstock so they're it's a little sturdier. Ooh. Ah, Christmas. That's over for now. Put this. I'm gonna put that there. I'm not going to go ahead and glue everything. I'm just going to glue what I'm putting down. So we've got our base layer down. All right. So you got contact. That's good. And what else do we have here? Oh, that's cute, huh? This is from a watercolor where I was just um, practicing my flowers when I first started. Let's see, you save things and you'll be able to use them. You save the right things, you know. I'm not gonna put this all the way on. I'm just gonna let it hang off a little bit and we can um, cut off the excess, but I do wanna get under here so it sticks well. And then we'll go over it again. Okay. Oops. Need another wet wipe because that guy's dry. Sticky hands. Circles on there. I'm gonna do a little tissue on the top with this goldish uh, yellow paint on it. Yeah, well, it's already stuck because I forgot this was right. Hey, happy mistakes everywhere you look. I was the happy mistake in my family. 
I have uh, one sibling, a brother, and he's eight years older than me. So there you go. He used to say I was the milkman's child. But I looked, I didn't believe it because I looked too much like my dad and my mom. So <laughs> that didn't work. Okay. Oh, if you go to my Instagram, I just updated my photo on my Instagram, my profile photo, and it's it's a, a, a little me at a uh, one of the old-fashioned black and white photo booths. Really cool. And I think I'm wearing one of those funky vintage jackets in there. All right, let's go back to this guy. This definitely needs something. Let's take some of this. Put some right there. How about that? Okay. Now we're talking. And I use different thicknesses because I like when you pick it up, you can feel the different thicknesses and textures and um, of the different ingredients. Yes, these are my ingredients. What haven't we used yet? Some poetry. I'll just take a little bit of find a word or something or a phrase in here. The lungs are stirless. Hmm. How cool the bellows feels. I'm just gonna cut a little bit of this text out. I'm gonna lay it on there. I'm not really worried about too much what it says, but I just want some words. All right, let's set you aside. And this guy. This guy's pretty thick. Oops, I just had a circle spill. Let's move you guys out of the way. Maybe on this one, we'll do a little distress spray. How about that? I do want to get something in here for this spray because I don't want to blacken up the paper. Yeah, I'll use that. And then with this, um, this is the Tim Holtz Ranger Distress Spray uh, in black soot to water act reactive dye and pigment. So. We'll find our other water bottle. There we go, our other bottle is water. Make sure you shake this guy and there's, I'm gonna have to hit it. There's a ball in here. You hear that? All right, you want that going and that helps blend everything together. All right, I don't want it a lot, so I'm just gonna. That's enough. See, don't want a lot, that's enough. Set that aside for a second. And then maybe on this one, I'm gonna spray the um, oxide spray, the deckled, a speckled egg, not deckled, speckled egg. Okay. Now, let's back to this one. I wanna Spray a little water on there, not too much. Huh. All right, and you see, it's starting to move and spread. So I'm just gonna help it move around. All right. Oops. And this one. Put on you. We've got the card. We've got num 
number or her uh, word. Ooh, we could do a nice flower. Let's do a flower. How about that? These are washi stickers, mostly. Um, I've got some paper ones, but just I'm gonna do a sticker. Some of these are kind of big, so I'm gonna have to cut it down. But do something like that. Or do a leaf. That's kind of big. I don't think I want that. That's cool, that's good size. And that is gonna pick up the purple here. Cool, see that? Okay. Now, let's see if Eddie can get the sticker off. Okay, set that aside for now. This guy, what are we gonna do with you? Something up here. If we did a label. Mm, a label, here you are. Um, these are, I have to do that on sticker paper, so it'll be easy to attach. ones and if I remember I will post the links to um, to the Etsy shop where I got these um, stickers from well they're actually it's digital and then I just printed them off onto um, an 8 by 10 8 by an half by 11 sheet of sticker paper um, it's a full sheet and um, then just cut them up yeah, I need one of those those books like some of the other crafters have where they're really nice and they have little plastic pockets and everything's organized by size. I don't think I'll ever do it, but it's a nice idea. Um, let's see. What I can do, we can just, I can put the sticker there and just let it hang off and we'll cut the excess off. You know what I'm going to do first, though? Let's put a little ink on there. A little distress ink in the vintage photo. I even go over the front, the whole thing, just to give it that aged, aged look. showing so that's good okay I think this one's good this needs to be a little sticky but I'll let it dry a little more and this guy let's see if it'll the 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 distress ink is dried on here do we the one we sprayed with the uh it's the speckled egg so let me see if I can a little water reactivate it let's see what it does Hmm. 
spread it around and then maybe hmm. what, oh, you know what I have? I have some blue ink here that I made myself. It's like a blue alcohol ink. I used um, an old marker and uh, let it soak in alcohol. It's cool. And that'll, that should interact with the, um, the dispersed spray too. All right, you gotta dry. Okay. Never lose your sense of wonder. Love it, using it. It's another thing I do um, a bunch of at a time is get my stamps out and my inks and then just stamp off a bunch of, um, of those onto scrap paper or whatever. And you know, then they're ready to go. Just a big sack. And ready to go. I could use a ruler, but it's all good. Where did I put my ink? Here's my ink. In the description, like I said, I want to put the Etsy's for the diff where I got the um, some of the labels and stuff, the printables, and um, also a link to the um, the lady who created these, and a link to my Facebook, uh, not my Facebook. I'm sorry. It will that'll be there too, but my Instagram and also my Etsy shop. Um, there's a few things in there right now. I'm planning to add some more stuff. Um, I'm probably going to do paper bundles, scrap paper bundles. And it's going to be basically bundles of my cut-up gel prints or my brayer off sheets. And just to give somebody a start with their own collaging and journaling, you know. I thought that'd be fun and they have something ready to go. All right, there we go. Don't lose your sense of wonder. Vacation, what do you need vacation? You need something on there. What do I have in this fabric? First, I gotta open it, there we go. music on it this is coffee dyed um just like a white sheet i ripped up it's coffee dyed with um some music printed on it stamped on it again music it's a piece of a butterfly i wonder how that would work here we could do um do just a little strip maybe Let's see what else is here. It's big. Ooh, here's what we can tear a bit of this and pop it on there. How about right here? Of course, it won't rip when you're watching. Let's see, I might need to get it started. Oops, I cut it off. I cut this little body off. I'll just use the scissors. And then I'll fray it by hand. I like to rip it because it'll, you know, you can get those nice uh, fraying around the edges. But uh, we'll do it ourselves. Gotta do everything. It's easy. Just pull at the edges and get these extra bits off. I don't want them too long, just, you know, 
So you see that, you see like an edge like that. I think that's, that adds some cool interest to your pieces. However, I have it all over myself. That's okay. And where do we want her? I think right in the middle. I'm gonna put her right in the middle. Just gonna sit her down. Oops. Don't be so aggressive, Eddie. All right, you're gonna dry. All right, we'll come back in, this, in a few seconds. I'm gonna let these dry and um, we'll come back and finish. Okay, so these have uh, dried and I've gone ahead and picked out a couple things that um, I wanna decorate them with um, in addition to what's already on there and the other stuff. So I found these, I forgot I had these. These are um, book pages I painted on using a stencil and it's acrylic paint. So it's, um, nice and stiff and I'm gonna make them pockets make them into pockets we'll attach them with the glitter glue not the Mod Podge because the Mod Podge is not the kind of glue I would use for something like this um, so let's go ahead and we're gonna ink these up And these are fun too because they have like uh because of the acrylic paint you uh, it leaves a texture so this is a nice fun uh this is going to be a, a nice tactile card it's it's thick it's grungy got a little bit of everything all right i'm going to glue that down i am use my uh art glitter glue ah, i see the mailman do you have anything for me I don't know we'll find out all right so that's the side we don't want to glue and put that down and we got ourselves a little tuck a little tuck spot all right and then i wanted to put this butterfly on here too brighten it up just a little bit but I want to distress it with the um, Tim Holtz Distress Ink in the Victorian Velvet, which is kind of a darker pink, almost purpley. It's not super bright, so it's not like a, you can see it's not a, uh, a bright, bright color. I like it because it's it's more it gives you a more um oldish vintage vibe all right i think you're gonna go right there okay stay down okay i think this one too will just use a little glitter glue most importantly you want to get around the edges so it doesn't come up on you that's why I like this, this kind of bottle here because get that fine tip. So you can get right in there. Okay. Let's get this right side up. There we go. And then maybe on the edge of this, we're gonna do some of the gold, um, the gilding polish. This is metallic gilding polish. See, it comes like that. There's a sponge in there. I haven't activated it yet. You have to wash it and whatever, but I'm going to just use a tiny bit here on my finger and go around the edges. Of the card, get a nice gold edge. And you get that cover up the the rough edges of your collage. Okay. That uh, was too much, but you know, it's all good. Let's see, this is gonna brighten up this card a, a lot more. I 
Okay, that one is ready to go. I'll set that one aside to dry. I'll close that up because I don't want it to dry out on me. Okay. And this guy, I was going to put a pocket on him too. Or a little tuck. But I think this tuck is going to go on this. Uh, well, I don't want to cover up the words. If we just, we'll just do it there. Like original. Originally. And get some distress ink. Okay. I don't know if you can hear. The birds are chirping today. They must be confused. I said it's warm in February. Yep. Warm in February. thought on the edge here we could use the gold pen um, to sass it up a little bit Gotta give it a little shake. I mean, this one's lasted me at least three years. I've had it. It's from um, it's Deco Color Primo Premium Lichida or Uchida of America Corporation, based out of Torrance, California. Hm. But yeah, it's lasted me. It's three years. I mean, to be honest, I don't use it every single day, but you know, every time I open it, it's it works. Just gotta shake a little bit, and uh, yeah, that's it. This side here. Now, eventually, what I'll do is um, these will either be glued into something, a journal, um, or I will. Um, I can make them into like little um, writing cards or journal cards. Uh, back it with a little um, coffee dyed paper or just plain white paper. And um, yeah, that's it. Well, this one's got the fabric on it. And then this one, I found this in my tidbits box. It was a... Um, uh, um, a printout of roses and flowers and I just had some you know bits and pieces here and so what I did was um, I cut them up into little squares and used some gold watercolor on there and, and I did some stamping as well like in this one you can see the, the stamping here um, but I thought it'd be a fun little thing just to add let's see if we can find a, a spot I thought maybe just like there, or we can cut a triangle. That's what we'll do. We'll do a triangle because it's a lot of straight lines and just squarey things. So maybe a, a triangle would be fun. And I think we're going to do it right there. There we go. Okay. Moving right along. Oh, a little glitter glue on that. I forgot that I need my left hand to glue because I can't do it with the other hand. But I instinctively grab it with my right. Uh, silly boy. Okay. That one's done too. And what can we do on the edges? What should we do? I think just a little distress ink I'm gonna do on here. I don't wanna go overboard on the on the gold. Okay. Okay, there we 
go. Never lose your sense of wonder. Number three. All right, let's finish up number four. Number four, we did circles and we did the speckled egg distress ink. I got a number here and some tissue and gel print. And I went through my washi stickers and I have this Paris clock. And I thought we could use that because it would balance out. It would give me a third circle. You know what they say, working in thirds. That's a, one of the top design rules. I learned that when I worked at Z Gallery in Boca Raton and I would help merchandise the, the store. We had a, a group of designers, merchandisers who would come in and they would get the store looking amazing, like super, super beautiful. So I learned a lot of great tips from working with them and, um, and helping out because you know, I learned that rule of three. I learned about, you know, spacing things and groupings and um, vignettes, that sort of thing. So that was fun. I learned a lot. Okay, I'm going to put you right there. I'm not going to distress this one because it's got a lot of gold on it. So we we'll just let the, the gold be the primary accent there. And then I thought juxtaposition would be a fun word here. Actually, we do it at the top. No, we'll do it in the middle. We're going to do it in the middle on this one. We will distress. Because I don't want the plane. Wait, 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 wait. Mm, you know what? Let me turn this down just a little bit. Got a fold. You don't work out. There we go. See, I grabbed it with my right hand. It's uncomfortable, but uh, it's a habit. I got to break. Okay. This one I will do the gold edge, but I'm going to do it with the marker. The marker matches that uh, the gold I have on the little card there, a little square. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share it with your friends, and let me know in the comments if there's something you would like to see me demonstrate or if you have any suggestions anything or how's your day going okay we're done let's take a quick look so there's that one the juxtaposition here we are with a um the pocket in there made a little tuck and the fabric butterfly and then never lose your sense of wonder with our iris flower purple iris and this one's got the, a lot of texture on it because of the this um collage piece down here that was on um i believe it was a manila folder and there's our fourth one and this is real like grungy looking one we put a ton of gold on there love it and this one says assumptions never make them I, you know we were supposed to do another word on there right i think there was another word <laughs> well it is what it is oh this one also has a little tuck all right so thanks again for watching i hope you enjoyed my um messy play today and have a great day.